Thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel. My name is Ronald Lynn Naipo, and for all my new subscribers, aloha and welcome. So let me get back on the couch. I just went ahead and packed my bag because we're heading off to the beach. But I thought, hey, why not go ahead and do a collab video with Monica McGillicuddy. So let's get going. Let me go ahead and hop back onto the couch and I'm going to get and tell you what's happening with this cross collab. Okay. So now that I'm on the couch, I got my beach bag right here. I always go ahead and carry both, but let me go ahead and tell you briefly who Monica McGillicuddy is. She has a great channel here on YouTube. It's called Monica McGillicuddy. If you're not already familiar with her homepage, I'll be leaving it right here. Go ahead and hop over after you get done watching this video. And if you're not already subscribed to her channel, I insist that you hop over and subscribe to her channel. That girl is like the queen of live streaming. She does a fabulous job. If you want to know about skincare, beauty, tips and tricks, that girl is a person you need to go ahead and subscribe to. But we thought, wouldn't it be fun since we're in the midst of summer to go ahead and share with you what's in their summer beach bag. So, but the first thing I want to go ahead and address is sunglasses. There we go. You know, this girl has a multitude of sunglasses. If you didn't go ahead and see my sunglass haul or video, or I think I did one or two, I'll be leaving those videos down in the description bar. So let me go ahead and take up these sunglasses and we're gonna go ahead and hop right into one of our first topics. You're gonna to go out and get a great and fabulous suntan. You wanna make sure that you're exfoliating all the dead skin before you get that gorgeous glow going on your body. So this one is from Maui Babe right here. This one is their coffee scrub. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I mean, if you like the smell of coffee, you're gonna love this body scrub. I always go ahead and use a body scrub and exfoliate all of the dead skin. So whether you're self tanning or getting a mild tan out in the sun, and yes, I know, I'm gonna need some skin protection, some SPF and a hat and everything, we're gonna go over that. So if you don't like the coffee scrub, this one is called You Had Me at Aloha Body Scrub. Aloha, as in Aloha Hawaii, okay? This one is a body scrub. This one has honey, what? honey, sea salt, sugar, sweet pineapple with a hibiscus fragrance. I mean, hello, that'll automatically just take you to the beach. Let me go ahead and show you what it already looks like. This girl's been dabbing into it right there. Mm, take a sniff right there. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, I feel like I'm at the beach ready. Okay, so this one is some Perfectly Posh. You have two options. I like to go ahead and either uh, rotate between the two, coffee or maybe some pineapple hibiscus. So always make sure that you're well exfoliated before you're heading out into the sun or doing any self tanning if you choose to go ahead and do so. So the first thing I wanna go ahead and show you is this light weight um, meshed top right there. This one is great as a cover up when you're going down to the beach. So if you want to go ahead and find a great beach cover up, this one is absolutely fabulous. And these sunglasses actually match with it. So let me go ahead and remove the sunglasses. There we go. So, so the next option I want to go ahead and share with you is a beach blanket or beach cloth. So whatever you have on hand is great. I mean, if you want to go ahead and bring your beach towel or sheet, but I have a nice Hawaiian print um, cloth right here. This one has a black trim at the end. My sister went ahead and sold this for me years ago. I always go ahead and leave this in my trunk. So of course, we always know that this girl needs to go ahead and have snacks. So if you have some nuts hanging around the house, we're only gonna be down at the beach for a little while. These one are some whole almonds right here. We're gonna go ahead and throw that into the bag. We got some healthy granola bars, just in case we need to um, have a little bit more food. I have my favorite uh, bunch of cashews. This is about a fourth of a pound of some cashews. I go ahead and put that into a Ziploc bag right there. That will help to go ahead and keep any ants or any bugs. Also, when I get done, I'm gonna go ahead and throw all my rubbish back into the same Ziploc bag to make sure I'm keeping everything airtight. If you're heading into the water, besides wearing your flip-flops or sandals, you wanna go ahead and make sure, we call them tubbies here in Hawaii. I go ahead and wear these. These are actually has a little bit of pink. You go ahead and slip them on. So that way, if we're swimming at the beach and there are a few rocks in the water, we can always go ahead and make sure that our feet are well protected while we're in the water. So I always like to go ahead and make sure that I go ahead and pack my tubbies 
so that way my feet will stay well protected and making sure my feet won't get cut by any coral or anything on the reef while we're in the water. The item I want to go ahead and share with you is making sure you're bringing a lot of water. We want to go ahead and make sure we're staying well hydrated even while down at the beach. We go ahead and fill up two. Jim loves to go ahead and drink his iced tea. We'll go ahead and fill this one with an iced tea and this one with water. We want to go ahead and make sure we're keeping ourselves well hydrated even while at the beach. The item I have in my beach bag are these canvas pouches. I have one in this khaki color right here and the other one is red. I like to go ahead and put my sunglasses here on the side so that way if I'm dipping my hand into my beach bag, I don't have to worry about either one smashing my sunglasses or making sure that the sunglasses are well protected by putting them on each side. So if you don't like using Vaseline on your lips, go ahead and buy yourself a chopstick. This one is very inexpensive. I like to go ahead and carry this one in my beach bag to go ahead and protect my lips. But my ultimate favorite is from Maui Babe. These are two different flavors right here. This one is in the flavor of mango. The other one is in the flavor of watermelon. I go ahead and remove any of my makeup before I head down to the beach. So I like to go ahead and make sure that I'm carrying a great lip balm while I'm at the beach. So these are from Maui Babe. The last item that I have in here, because this girl needs to look a little bit glamorous when she's even at the beach, is some lip gloss. This one is from Lorac. There we go. This one is actually called Secret Agent. There we go. I don't want to go in and swatch it, see so folks know what it kind of looks like. Okay, this one is a light lip gloss. This one is in a nude or flesh tone color right there. That one is from Lorac. That one is going to go ahead and go back into my beach bag. This and the other option that you have for drugstore, this one is actually from Wet n Wild. This is their Brilliant Lip Gloss. This one is in Bronze Berry. This one has a little bit more of a shimmer. So for those of you who want to go ahead and wear a little bit of lip gloss, instead of maybe just a little bit of a neutral uh, lipstick, you can go ahead and do that. I went ahead and thrown both of these colors into my beach bag. So if I want to go ahead and wear just a little bit of lip gloss, I go ahead and carry my Lorac and my Wet n Wild lip gloss with me to the beach. So if you don't want to go ahead and use coconut oil because you think it's a little too greasy, I like to go ahead and make sure that I'm carrying one of these three, one of these three, because I went ahead and invested into all three hair masks. This one is from Maui Moisture. This is their Curl Quench Coconut Oil right here. I don't necessarily sometimes do my hair masking once a week, but if I'm heading down to the beach and I know that I'm going to be either in the ocean or in chlorine water and the chlorine tends to damage my hair, I go ahead and carry one of these jars, not three, just one, and make sure that I take out a heaping tablespoon, warm that up in my hands, rub that into my hair, wrap my hair up in a towel, and make sure that my hair is staying well moisturized while I'm at the beach. So we got three all together. These are from Maui Moisture. This one is their coconut oil. The next one is their Bamboo Fibers Fortifying Mask. There we go. For those of you who have dry and brittled hair, you should go ahead and try this. I go ahead and use this on my hair at least once a week to go ahead and give it a great moisturizing. And this one is their Agave Hair Mask. So all three of these are from Maui Moisture. But I'll go ahead and carry maybe at least one of these if I don't want to go ahead and travel with my coconut oil because this is a glass jar. So the next pouch that I have here carries all my SPF and you're wondering why is that pouch so big? Well, you know, when you're taking teenagers and the girlfriends and the boyfriends to the beach, everybody's always snatching and walking off and creating their little nookie or little corner off on the side of the beach. So I always make sure that I carry all my SPF products in this little red pouch. Let me go ahead and show you the first one right here. So if I'm with my granddaughter, I want to go ahead and make sure I carry the Banana Boat Kids Free UVA, UVB Protection, which is an SPF of 50. This one comes in an aerosol can. 
right there. It's very easy to go ahead and apply. I don't have to worry about using a cream. This one I would go ahead and prefer, but for those of you who do not like an aerosol, I always go ahead and carry my Neutrogena. This one is their Pure and Free Baby Sunscreen. This one has an SPF of 60. I always go ahead and use this on myself, not just for my grandkids or for my kids, but this will give me a great SPF protection when I'm going in and out of the water. So if the kids go ahead and snatch this lotion away from me, I always have a backup. This one is from Anatomicals and it's called Aloha. Is it me you're looking for? It must be because it's in my bag. This one is a pineapple body lotion. I always go ahead and make sure I'm with two. So if the teenager go ahead and snatch this one or this one, I'm at least left with one. So if you love the smell of pineapples, you're just gonna love this one. This one comes in a cream form right there. I go ahead and put a little bit on my hand to show you what it actually looks like. And it's like smelling a pineapple pina colada. I just love it, okay? So let me go ahead and get that into my hand. There we go. Oh, I smell like a beautiful pineapple. I just love it. That one has a beautiful scent, and that one is from Anatomicals. It's called Aloha. Is it me you're looking for? Pineapple body lotion. I'll be leaving that down in the description bar. Okay, so now that we got everything like our SPF and everything, you wanna go ahead and make sure you're bringing some reading material. So go ahead and pack maybe a magazine and a great book to go ahead and pass the time because sometimes down at the beach, there's no internet, unless maybe you're at a yacht club. I like to go ahead and pack a magazine and one of my favorite inspirational books. So that way, while the kids are romping around in the water, this girl has something to go ahead and read. So if you're down at the beach or the pool and you forgot your beach blanket and you don't have anything to sit on, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and invest into some extra large beach towels. This one is in turquoise and purple. This one is for Mr. Jim. Actually, it looks more like a turquoise and dark blue to me. The next color that we have here is in a bright pink and purple towel right there. This one is extra large beach towels. The whole purpose of us investing into some nice, large and thick beach towels is because if we forget to go ahead and bring down our beach mat, we're able to go ahead and spread out one of these towels so we're able to go ahead and sit down. So if you forgot your sunglasses and you're squinting because squinting creates a little bit of wrinkles, let's go ahead and make sure that we're bringing maybe a visor. This one is a La Hala visor right there. I like to go ahead and just pop that on, go ahead and take off the earrings, of course. I wouldn't be traveling to the beach without these turquoise earrings, but this one will go ahead and keep out the glare if I actually forgot my sunglasses. But if I have two, I'm actually keeping the sun out of my face. If you don't like using a visor, the other option that we have here is a white hat right there. There we go. This one is a big brimmed hat. I like it, it almost looks like a cowboy hat, but it's not. This one is made actually out of Lauhala. This one has a white uh, trim around the front of the hat. I'd like to go ahead and put that one on, or maybe if we're at a parade or we're down at the beach. I mean, this girl wants to go ahead and look a little stylish. This white uh, brimmed hat will come in very, very perfectly. There we go. But I know a lot of you are like, no, I'm not gonna wear either one of those. Our last option is actual a beach hat. The whole purpose of me buying this one here is because I'm actually able to go ahead and fold it like this and go ahead and put it into my beach bag. I love traveling with this one here because it's not as bulky as this hat right here. Or if I don't wanna go ahead and use a visor because I'm still squinting and this one doesn't keep all of the sun out of my face, I like to go ahead and travel with my beach hat. When I'm going down to the beach, I go ahead and open it up right there. It has a beautiful bowl detailing on the back and you can just go ahead and pop this on just like this. So when I'm traveling, I go ahead and open it up and actually put it on one of the lamps in the hotel room and go ahead and stretch it out so I get the correct shape of my head. I can go ahead and adjust the front. So if I want it a little lower, I can go ahead and do that. But this will give me the best sun protection while I'm actually out in the sun. So I just love this beach hat. It's very versatile. I'm able to go ahead and use it for traveling. I love it because I'm able to go ahead and fold it and go ahead and not 
just take it down to the beach, but travel with it. So thank you so much for joining me as I went ahead and shared with you some of the beach items that I like to go ahead and pack in my beach bag while I'm living here in Hawaii. I had a blast sharing it with you. Before you go ahead and leave, don't forget to leave your comments down in the description bar, subscribe and click on my homepage. Go ahead and see some of the videos that I go ahead and upload to my YouTube channel. But before you go ahead and do that, when you get done here, go ahead and hop over to Monica's channel, click on her subscribe button, click on her homepage. Go ahead and click on her playlist. Go ahead and see some of the other fabulous videos that she goes ahead and uploads every week to her YouTube channel. So my name is Bonalyn Naipo. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so by clicking on that subscribe button. Don't forget to click on that notification bell because that'll give you a breath on some of the videos that I go ahead and upload on a weekly basis. But what I want you to go ahead and do is to go out there, be bold, be beautiful. Don't forget to dress up. And all the way from Hila, Hawaii, my name is Rhonda Lynn Naipo. Aloha. Bye-bye.